Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whenever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 33 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. You can also uh, order your longevity products by calling 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and you can check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. We're talking about the skin, which to me is a poster child of the misunderstandings that we have about the body in general. We treat the skin superficially. We treat the whole body superficially. That's why we take drugs. The idea of taking blood pressure drugs to lower your blood pressure is its the epitome. It's the classic example of superficial treatment. But they, all drugs, all, all tools of the pharmacomedical model are about treating the body superficially because fundamentally the medical model thinks the body is just doomed. It can't be, there's nothing you could do about health challenges according to the medical model, according to the fundamental philosophy. It's a philosophical issue. There's a philosophy of medicine, the, the, the paradigm of medicine, the overarching, I, overarching idea within which all the little ideas come into, the big idea that all the little ideas fit into. Drugs are a little idea. The big idea is that the body's flawed and there's only so much you can do. And so staving off our demise becomes the raison d'etre, the reason for the existence of the medical model, to stave off our demise, which is, which, you know, they got a point, we're all going to die. But the key is you don't want to have to, you don't want to have to deteriorate and break down for the last half of your life. And that's basically what happens with, when, we have, when we regard the medical model as the arbiters of our health. Because they just perceive that we're doomed, they figure, well, beta blocker is the best you could do. You got high blood pressure, we're going to give you a beta blocker because there's nothing you could do. You got high blood pressure. It's called essential hypertension. That means essential hypertension literally means it's hypertension that is just there. It's essential to you. It's just part of life. And so a beta blocker is the best we could do. That's... That's the fundamental principle of the medical model. We can't do anything about your eczema or psoriasis, so we're just going to shut down your immune system. We're going to give you steroid cream because we don't know what, what it is. Doctors to this day will tell you they don't know what causes psoriasis because that's the, that's the standard, op, that's, the, that's the party line. And, and it's not like it's manipulative, manipulative at the level of the doctor. We want to think about it that way. It's not manipulative. The doctor's not manipulating us. They're not bad people. The model, and even the model, is not. it's been taken advantage of. It's been leveraged by drug companies and, and, and for profit. That's for sure. That's just the way our system is. But the model itself, it started off as a good thing. When the model started, the drug, pharmacomedical model started in the 18th century, pretty much, with the beginnings of chemistry, 
you want to really go back, maybe the Enlightenment, maybe the 16th century or the 15th century. But it, over the last 500 years, the medical model has achieved some tremendous successes in terms of its ability to to make life more uh, life more pleasant. Can you imagine what life would must have been like when we thought that disease was caused by evil clouds in the sky, or uh, Never forget. I read this. Uh, I read this medieval history book a few years ago. I was just kind of leafing through it, and I was, and I got to a part where they talked about medicine and disease. And in medieval England, or medieval Germany, actually, uh, the three causes of disease were known to be uh, evil cloud, or, uh, uh, evil spirits, or evil clouds, elves, little elves that shot arrows at you, and the number nine. Those are the three causes of disease that doctors or, or medical, whatever the medical people at the time, knew caused disease. So when the Enlightenment came around, they said, well, there's, there might be infectious agents. That was one of the first things they thought of. There might be infectious agents. And there's different ways that you can control the body and you can, you can make, create a, a better life. In, you don't have to be condemned to worrying about elves in the number nine. You can actually kill things i.e. bacteria and germs. They didn't really know about bacteria and germs. They knew there was something there they could kill. They used, and then when they started to discover bacteria and germs in the, in the 1800s, this represented major advances in human quality of, or improvements in human quality of life. It was a very good thing. Then it became co-opted. Then it became, as all things do in our ca uh, capitalist culture, it just got, became part of a, there, there was a lot of money to be made in it. I mean, at the end of the day, drugs are really cheap. A and insurance is really cheap. I mean, how, you, the insurance companies, think about all the money insurance companies make that they never have to, ca they just get it every month. I pay my premiums every month, a lot. And a lot of you guys do, and we never use anything. So it became big business. But, but that doesn't mean we can't do something about it. If we're at, we've been talking about skin, and I'm just going to, I'm going to die. That's my expertise, really. I mean, I like working with the whole body, but my, I have a real expertise about the skin. So I'm just going to pick on the skin here. If you've rubbed a cream on your skin as a moisturizer, I know most people do this. It's crazy to me. You rub a cream on as a moisturizer, have no idea what's in the cream, have no idea what you're doing. It's just kind of like, it's generational. It's like for four or five generations, we rub cream on our skin. We have no idea what we're doing. Anybody out there, I want somebody to call me. You know what you're doing when you rub a cream on your skin. What exactly is happening? A moisturizing cream, let's say. What exactly is happening when you rub a moisturizer cream? Is, it, is there some kind of magic that's occurring that all of a sudden your skin is moist? No. You're just rubbing some kind of waxy substance on the surface of the skin and then you're feeling the wax. And the wax kind of fills in the gaps a little bit between the, when your skin is dry, it, it's kind of, the cells are sort of separated. So what the roughness is, and we don't even know we have dry skin. We just know we have hard skin. It's hardness. When we say, oh, I have dry skin, what we really mean is we have hard skin. You can't feel the dryness. You could feel the hardness. And we link the two together. Oh, it's hard? It must be dry. And the reason that's important is because it's a hardness issue. When you put a cream on or a lotion, what you're doing is you're softening the hardness. You're not moisturizing anything. There is no moisturizing happening, by definition, if you take the word moisture as being water. There's no moisturizing happening. You're softening. Why is this important? Because you don't need a wax to soften. You can use coconut oil to soften. You can use butter to soften. Let's go to your refrigerator and put some butter in your skin. If all you want to do is soften, but because we have this whole mythology around moisturization and because we don't examine it, it's just kind of like how we treat our bodies and our health in general. We don't examine things. We, we, we just go about our lives, and that's fine, but you know, what's the definition of insanity? Using different products without understanding what's going on, the mechanism of how it's working. You're just using, picking different products is like the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If you're using moisturizers and you're switching moisturizers over and over and over again, you're expecting different results, that's the definition of insane because you're doing the same thing. All moisturizers work the same way. All standard moisturizers work the same way. And by the way, dry skin is a health issue. It's not a cosmetic superficial issue. It's a health issue. 
All right, I'm Farms. It's Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. I will have more to say on this subject when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010, got lines open for you. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. This Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. If you want to purchase Longevity products, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And uh, if you want to uh, sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, even better, you can get your products at the wholesale price and sign up uh, as a, di- a distributor and pay it forward, especially if nutritional supplementation has helped you or your loved ones. Now you have an opportunity to not just, not just make some money because it's a good business opportunity, but also to pay it forward. Most people still don't know about the power of nutritional supplementation. I know if you're listening to this program, you probably hang out with people and you probably are just understand yourself personally in your life that nutritional supplementation is a thing. It's a viable thing. It's something you can do to control how your body shows up. It's not, there's other things you got to do. I'm not going to tell you every single thing in your life is going to resolve itself with a nutritional supplement program, but it's a key part of it, a really key part of it as well as eating right and exercising and mental and emotional strategies. And that's the point is there's all these different things we can do. But we're told, like in the old days, they would tell you that you didn't have to, all you had to do if you wanted to go to heaven was you had to just give your allegiance to the church. Today, it's just give your allegiance to medicine and we'll, we'll, get, you, we'll get you going. Yeah, you're going to deteriorate because that's just the nature of it, but we'll keep you alive. There's so many different ways that we can leverage our ability to heal and regenerate and grow. And it starts with a paradigm shift. I used to, I I love that word paradigm and I used to use it a lot. And then I got told, well, it's becoming cliche to say paradigm shift. Well, I don't care if it's a cliche, it's a powerful concept. We live our lives based on paradigms that are given to us and they don't always serve us. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they serve the society and the culture, but they don't always serve us as individuals. One of the paradigms that doesn't serve us is the idea that we can manipulate the symptoms of our body without uh, dealing with causes and expect different results. If you have dry skin and you don't address the cause and you put a moisturizer on it, you're not helping yourself. And dry skin is a health challenge. Dry skin is a health issue. Human skin's not supposed to be dry. Yes, it's a minor health issue, relatively speaking, but it's a... it's a shot across the bow. It's a, it's a first, it's the first step. And so when you say later on, I have arthritis or autoimmunity, it's like we miss these first things that are happening because they seem mild. Dry skin doesn't seem like a big deal and it's not, but it's a gentle reminder from the body. Hey, I'm missing some fats here. Missing some fatty vitamins here. May not be absorbing. Man, some absorption, it's just a little whisper. That's how the body works. And that's how we want to look at it. That's why when you get on essential fatty acids and work on your digestive issues and start a supplement program in general and use vitamin A, you notice differences in your dry skin. If you use a moisturizer, you won't notice a difference in your dry skin. Moisturizers are not going to help your dry skin. First of all, there's no such thing as a moisturizer. Secondly, your dry skin slash hard skin is the end result of biochemical issues that are happening deep inside. This idea of deep inside the skin is very important and it's a paradigm shift. You've got to start looking at the skin as having a deep inside. We don't see the skin as having a deep inside. There's this thing now called the deep state in politics. Well, there's guess what? There's deep skin. We call it collagen. We call it hyaluronic acid. Fibroblasts are part of the deep skin. Those are the cells that make the collagen and the high hyaluronic acid. Fibroblast. If you know, if you love your skin, and I know a lot of you love your skin. I know a lot of people love this product. There's a lot of product people out there. I not, not so much when I do this radio program, but when I do my Instagram stuff. And by the way, Truth Treatments is on Instagram and on Facebook. We do Facebook lives and we do Instagram lives. And there's a whole skincare community I've noticed on Instagram. And that skincare community is just diluted by the idea that you can do things topically to your skin 
and have better skin for it. And that's the model that we, that's the paradigm. The fact is, is that in the world of skin, we are misled and the idea uh, how to take care of our skin effectively is misrepresented for profit. And it's up to us to take care of it. Same way with the inside of the body. It's, it, the skincare business is no more deceitful than the, than the uh, drug business. And many of the same the drug companies are making skin products, actually, or buy, have own skin, skin companies. Allergan, for example, big one. I'm reading this morning uh, something called Pharma, uh, Pharma Little. Pharma Little, that's what it's called. It's Stat Plus Pharma Little. Your morning roundup of latest pharma news. This is a pharmaceutical pharma, uh, for pharmacy journal, and I get it online just to see what's going on. First headline. There's five headlines here. First headline. Senator Cory Booker and Senator Bernie Sanders introduce a bill that would create a new federal agency focused on controlling the costs of prescription drugs. It's going to be called, the, it's based on something called the Prescription Drug Affordability and Access Act. So we can all have access to prescription drugs, cheap prescription drugs. Who's paying for it, by the way? Everybody's paying for it. No free or cheap. We're all paying for it. So now, if you're on drugs or you're on a whole bunch of drugs, now you can guarantee to have them paid for. And that means for folks, again, present company excluded mostly, I'm sure, that you guys aren't you know, on 14 or 15 different drugs. Many people are on 14 or 15 drugs. Many, many people. I would say it's in the millions of people who are on more than 10. More than 10 drugs. More than 10 drugs. Now, they'll be guaranteed on having a cheap. Great. Second headline. An FDI advisory committee, by the way, we need a new federal, like we need another federal bureau, right? All right, second headline. An FDA advisory committee voted 16 to 0 in favor of expanded use of a fish oil derivative drug from Amarin to reduce the likelihood of heart attacks and strokes. We need a fish oil derivative drug because fish oil is not good enough. We need to have a fish oil derivative drug. Doctors would have a new means for reducing the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and deaths in millions of high cholesterol patients while opening up, boom, 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 ready for this, a multi-billion dollar opportunity for the company. I'm reading right off this pharmacy journal here, folks. A multi-billion opportunity for the company. Of course, it's just fish oil, and they're selling it like a drug. If you, if, you, if you want proof of the effectiveness of nutritional supplementation, nothing says, nothing says the stuff works more than a, a drug company taking a nutritional supplement and tweaking it and then selling it back to you. All right, here's another one. GSK, that's GlaxoSmithKline, mega, mega na, uh, multinational, mega, mega, mega billion dollar probably trillion dollar company, at least in the hundreds of billions of dollar company, believes that further sales growth from its shingles vaccine, which has boosted earnings, would be reined in by limited capacity. But when a new bioreactor facility would be ready to bring a step change in production, they're going to be back in business. That's according to Reuters. The drug maker had originally envisioned a gradual launch, but in the U.S., its biggest, its biggest market, regulators unexpectedly recommended their shingle vaccine, Shingrix, not only for people reaching, uh, not only for people reaching age 50, but also to replace what they're already using. So they basically tripled their business. There's more, but it's too depressing to even read. But we can do something about it, you guys. That's why we do this program. That's why I do my talks. That's why you should get yourself on a nutritional supplement program. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. And we'll get your calls here momentarily. If you want to purchase longevity products, call 866-735-2470 or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You'll find the longevity products up as well as videos, news stories, blog posts, and lots of good free health information. I have my moments of truth up at criticalhealthnews.com. I just saw I'm doing moments of truth every uh, morning now. And uh, we post them to our Facebook page. By the way, the Bright Side has a Facebook page now. Thank you, Nasima, for setting that one up. Um, that's the Bright Side, and we'd love to have you. We're, I'm 
I read lots of stuff and I get lots of information. I always want to share it, and I don't get to share everything I want to share on this program. We also do Facebook Lives, by the way. Uh, so I get to share information, things I just may have read about. I try to get a couple good articles here on this program, but there's all kinds of stuff I learn every day. And then having um, a Facebook page is a great way to kind of check in with you guys and see what you guys say. So go to uh, the Bright Side with Pharmacist Ben Facebook page. You can also go to our Instagram. Uh, we also have a Truth Treatments a Facebook page and also a Truth Treatments Instagram page. And then if you want to check out our archive page, if you miss a program, you want to review something, go to brightsideben.com. I'm sorry, go to... Uh, Go to brightsideben.com. That's right. Go to brightsideben.com and then check out the uh, archives and also the search engine if you miss the program. And don't forget to take a look at Truth Skin Health Products at truthtreatments.com. We've got lots of holiday specials coming out. Our blemish repair complex should be back in stock next week. We ran out of that one and took us a while to get some more. Uh, but that will be back up next week. Truthtreatments.com. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon, oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. In any of our True Skin Health products, you're not going to find 100% active and functional ingredient products anywhere. It's never been done before. 100% active and functional ingredients. It's never been done before where we, we dose the skin rather than smearing something on. You want to dose the skin. If your product is powerful, if your topical skincare product is really doing something, you couldn't just rub it on. Think about it. If your skincare product actually had activity in it, you'd be paying close attention to how you use it. You wouldn't be wasting it just by smearing it on. It's only because it's 90% water or more that you can do that. TruthTreatments.com for 100% active and functional ingredients, pharmacist formulated healing products. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. All right, we'll get to your calls here in just a moment. This really got my attention from the University of Queensland in Australia. I read this in New Scientist magazine. If you're interested in getting really good stories that are easy to read, scientific stories that are easy to read, check out New Scientist magazine. It is awesome. You can get it at newsstands. I have a I've had a subscription for probably 15 years for this one. It's a great magazine. Anyway, common drugs help may help resistance spread. Antibiotic resistance, that is. For decades, we've known that bacteria can evolve resistance to antibiotics. Now, guess what? It looks like other drugs, including Motrin, Ibuprofen may help this resistance spread. They did a study of six drugs, anti-inflammatory drugs, as well as uh, a cholesterol drugs and a beta blocker drug. And guess what? Exposure to all the drugs was linked to cellular changes that have made it easier for the bacteria to release and absorb each other's DNA. That's a marker of resistance. Bacterial resistance is a real serious problem. Some 30 to 40,000 people a year die from bacterial infections that they cannot, uh, that are, they can't uh, resolve with antibiotics. The antibiotics don't work. That's not a good thing, people. That's a very, very bad thing, which is why it becomes extra, extra important to make sure your immune system is strong. Whatever you can do to boost your immune system from either direction, by that I mean by what you put in and what you're not putting in. What you put into the system can depress your immunity as much as nutritional deficiencies. Sugar is a major bad guy. And I'm not beating anybody up here, but if you have an immune problem, if, you ha if you're getting chronic colds, or you're, even if you're getting any colds, really, I mean, once in a while, not every year. Colds aren't necessarily supposed to happen. You want to, and if you have a cold like for a day or something, that's one thing. But if you have it and it's lasting a long time, that's a sign that your immune system is is compromised, either from too much load or not enough support, or both. And if you're taking Motrin along with it, and they didn't study uh, uh, Tylenol, I'm sure it's the same thing with all drugs. All drugs are going to in increase the load on the body and make it easier for your immune system, for uh, uh, bacteria, uh, bacterial uh, infection to uh, override the immune system. The immune system is supposed to take care of things. The flu vaccine, you're going to start hearing about the flu vaccine if you haven't already. I, I, haven't, I, don't, I don't think I've heard about it yet, but it's just starting to actually. The flu vaccine is crazy. You're not, you're not, you don't need to be vaccinated against every little assault. You have an immune system. The immune system is designed to take care of these things. 
Now, if you're going to live the standard American lifestyle and, and eat the standard American diet and live the way most people live, then yeah, you're going to notice that you're getting sick a lot. And you might think about the flu vaccine. It's still not a good idea, in my humble opinion, to use the flu vaccine. And if you're on Motrin, you know, and there are times you need Motrin or ibuprofen, but if you're doing it chronically, understand that you can't just do these things chronically and not expect blowback. And guess what? This is a mild form of what happens to the body when you take a beta blocker for a long period of time or a calcium channel for a period for a long period of time. The load on the body by these drugs, and you can tell by how crappy you feel. Everybody on a beta blocker feels crappy. That's all you need to know, how crappy you feel, especially with blood pressure. Blood pressure is so tied in to the sympathetic nervous system the autonomic, the, the part of the nervous system that responds to the environment, we call it the autonomic nervous system. It's the part of the nervous system that responds to the environment. You have a part of the nervous system that responds, that's attached to our biochemistry, that sees the world as, as a safe place or a not safe place. Albert Einstein said, if I could talk to God, I'd want to know, is the world a safe place or is it not a safe place? And you know what? We're always asking that question. As we go about our lives, e uh, even if we don't know it, subconsciously, we're asking that question. Is it safe or isn't it safe? And most of us are answering it's not safe. That activates the sympathetic nervous system. Boom. Your blood pressure goes up. Boom. Your immune system suppressed. Boom. You get start to have skin problems. Boom. You feel like crap. You can't get out of bed. Boom. You start aging at an accelerated pace. It comes from long-term chronic activation of this sympathetic nervous system the sympathetic nervous system response. If you want to know what the sympathetic nervous system response is, ask a woman who's gone through menopause or, ha who, or who's had a particularly lousy menopause or has had a lot of symptoms. The hot flashes, the anxiety, the changes in blood pressure and blood sugar and weight gain and osteoporosis and uh, insomnia and loss of libido, all of these things are classic manifestations of a jacked up sympathetic nervous system response. By the way, if you have, if you want to, if you're going through menopause, if you're a woman out there listening and you're going through menopause and you're about to enter into it or, or you're about to enter into it, uh, you're, this, this represents a clue for having a good menopause. Relax the body. Make sure the body has the resources it needs so it's not in sympathetic overdrive. So the sympathetic nervous system is not constantly cranking out cortisol and adrenaline. That's really what hot flash symptoms are. And that's what precedes accelerated aging and long-term progressive degenerative disease. Activate the parasympathetic nervous system, and there's so many ways to do that. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Is your toilet smart? Yes, that's the latest thing, smart toilets. Smart toilets, reading from uh, Nutra Ingredients. Are smart toilets the next step in personalized health data revolution? Sounds kind of crazy, but you know what? It's a good idea. There's lots of information that comes out of us and gets wasted away, gets flushed away. And there's lots of good information that comes out in your stool and in your urine, for that matter. This is a study uh, based on a uh, research from a study, a research that was done at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and the Mortgage Institute for Research. A tremendous range of metabolic health information is contained in our urine that, that could herald a new revolution in health monitoring and personalization of nutrition and medicine. They're not saying stool here, but, but it could be both. Led by Professor Joshua Kuhn and Ian Miller, the team noted that urine contains a liquid history. How do you like that? A liquid history of individuals' nutritional habits, exercise, medication use, sleep patterns, and other lifestyle choices. Well, we know that because people do urine testing, urine analysis. But you can, uh, according to Joshua, Professor Kuhn and Professors Kuhn and Miller, 600 human conditions, including cancer, diabetes, and kidney disease, can be assessed by looking at the urine or by reading the urine by a smart by a smart potty. That's pretty clever. There's all kinds of stuff coming up in the world of technology and health is definitely going to be uh, the health industry is definitely going to be uh, is going to be a beneficiary of a lot of these 
these clever ideas. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's say hey to Truth Raider in Oregon. What's going on, Carl? How you doing, buddy? Benjamin, coming to you live this morning in 5G technology quality. 5G. Got to love the 5G. What exactly is 5G? Do you know? That That's a mystery to me. I, I just barely got by 3G and 3G buffering. <laughs> That particular phenomenon that occurred more than a decade ago. Now, is it uh, really is five? G, I, as I understand it, five G is just denser cell sites, smaller and denser cell sites. They just put cell sites everywhere. As the technology gets to the point where everything's small, they can stick these cell sites right. everywhere. And then I know there's well, there may be some some of the stuff they do with the band, but I don't know. Is it is it quantitatively different? Is it like more of the same thing, or is it a completely different thing? I would say that it's, it's higher. Uh, technically, are arranged with with more. I I believe it's not like it's a completely different technology. Yeah, well, it is. I feel that perhaps it's uh, working very well. I haven't subscribed, and I haven't updated myself, uh, upgraded myself onto five G. But I'm feeling the effects of five G. <laughs> How are you feeling the effects? I all out of nowhere, Ben. I'm getting. Uh, if I have. How do you know it's not just I getting old? Talk- if I don't have a phone in my pocket, I feel this electrical shock going through my toe. I'll have an electrical shock in my pocket. Yeah, but how do you know it's not just your neuropathy? Uh, it, 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 well, it, but it feels like an electrical vibration, too. Like, and it kind of yeah. builds up and it's like shock. And then it's gone after about a second or two when I, when I take the phone in my pocket and I almost my leg and I go, ouch! Wow, what the heck is that? <laughs> you know, so you're attributing you're attributing it to the 5G. I, I don't, believe I don't so. know. I'm I'm on the fence about that. I say so work where you can work. Uh, anybody out there? I got a few more minutes. If anybody out there knows more about 5G than I do, I'm sure there's, I hear a lot about it all the time. I was just in Canada doing talks, and there was at least two people talk doing talks on uh, protecting yourself from 5G. I I don't know enough about right. it. My understanding is it's just more of the same. Right. It's just denser. But maybe maybe yeah. it's different tech, technology. I have to look into that. All right, Truth Raider, I'm going to motivate here. Anything else, buddy? No, I'm just I'm just in pain here to try to take care take care of EFAs three, EFAs. But. And it sounds like yeah. based on everything I know about you from from your calls and stuff, it sounds like you're just yeah. you're dealing with neuropathy in general. Neuropathy is when the nerves become inflamed. The electrical energy doesn't flow through the nerves as they as well as it should. For following inflammation, it can result in pain, kind of a crampy electrical kinds of things you're talking about, restless leg syndrome, um, you oh, know, yeah. to, all of those kinds of things. And it sounds like you're dealing with that anyway. No. Yeah, injuries from show just from sports use, you know, sports All that. things out there that I I've been really hurting when I My dad used hurt. to say old age is a shipwreck. <laughs> right. I, I, I he used to like say I, that, and I didn't quite understand yeah. what he was talking about. But now I do. Yeah, but, uh, football, I'm like I'm playing football or something. <laughs> Sorry. It's crazy, <laughs> like huh? I got tackled several times in football or something. <laughs> All right, well, don't go shooting up. Don't go shooting anybody up. You know, some of these you get violent with this uh with all these, no, no. Uh, what do they call it? CTE? Uh, is that no. what it's called? Tra- uh, I, I forgot what they call it. It's a, it's a football injury. Anyway, I got to go. Have a good day, buddy. Good to talk to you. All right. Uh, who do we got on the line here? Hey there, uh, Ben. Bob. I mean, hey, Bob. What's going on, buddy? Hey, uh, you asked about uh, 5G. Yeah, you know about it? Well, my understanding is that um, you know, the higher the bigger it gets on that uh, signal, the shorter the wavelength. And, and Say it one more time. Say, you just cut out there. The bigger the what now? The shorter the wavelength? Yeah. Yeah, the greater the frequency, you know, the shorter That's right. the wavelength. That makes sense. The greater the frequency, okay. the shorter the wavelength. Okay. So, the, you know, it gets back to, like, microwave technology and that type of thing. My understanding is that the shorter the wavelength, the greater or easier penetration into the human body. Okay. Is it a shorter? Is five G a shorter wavelength? Yeah, that's why the towers have to be so much closer together ah. because it doesn't travel the same distance. So it's higher frequency. Five G is a higher frequency and yeah. shorter wavelength. So it's more yep. in, it's more disruptive of bio of biology and biochemistry. Correct? Is that the idea? Right. Right. You know, I mean, people uh. are worried about EMF. This is going to be even worse, supposedly, because uh, you know, all police officers basically have that uh, speed gun laying in their laps for a full day, and even though that was a, you know, a longer wavelength, they were claiming that they were getting cancer because 
because of it being laying in their lap for such a long period of time. Wow. Now, Where did you hear that? Now, now, Where did you hear that? Uh, I can remember. That, that's been the reports back over the years. I hadn't heard that, but that's very interesting. So, so the idea is it's, it's 5G is a higher frequency, basically, shorter wavelength, higher frequency. That makes total sense. If that's You're sure about that? Yeah, and well, that's the way I understand it. I, you know, and and the deal is that. Um, so now we have your cell phone up your ear. You know, that's that's, that that's kind of right stuff. up against your ear. There's all kinds of waves going through there. That can't be well, good. It, it's bothering your head at the same time because you're it's drawing in all those waves. The the, the short, short wavelengths are bombarding your the yeah. side of your but skull. here's the thing about the that. Time. Here's the thing about that. You know, there is higher rates of brain cancer and that kind of thing and migraines and, and things that you would think would be associated with that. But it's not like everybody has those problems. And and you would No. It would make sense like if you were actually putting a disrupting force like a microwave generator or some kind of wave generator right up to your ear, you would think everybody would be freaking out, wouldn't you? Yeah, you know, you know, again, I mean, it all gets down to everybody's individual chemistry as well. I guess. Big... So there is a certain ability to withstand that, you know. There's right, right. a certain like baseline everything. ability to withstand that. And that is my point, is that, you know, we can bitch and mo excuse my French here, you can, you, we can complain about, you know, uh, about, uh, you know, 5G and pollution and all the things that are in the water and in the air, blah, 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 blah. And it is terrible. And 5G is probably going to be disruptive. But you work where you can work. Locus of control. If some people can withstand it, that means the human body has a certain ability to withstand it. And is there going to yeah. be some baseline trauma that everybody has? Probably. You know, but there's a certain ability that some people have to be functional and to be resistant and to be able to transform stressors. There's a certain ability. We, the human ability, body has an ability to do that. And so what I'm saying is let's focus on that. Let's focus on not putting crappy food in the system, in the body, of eating less calories, using nutritional supplements, practicing your slow, deep breathing techniques, using mental and emotional strategies, connecting to spirit, whatever that is for you. I mean, there's all these things we can do, and that's what that's what we should be focusing on. 5G probably not a great idea, but you know what? You're gonna love downloading your movies really fast, right? Right. You know, I mean. <laughs> They've been talking. I mean, if you've been paying attention at all, there's been a lot of mothers uh, totally adamant protesting, putting up any of these five cell towers near their public schools because that's public land that they can utilize. And uh, because uh, there have been reports, and I don't know how the, the validity of them, but that uh, cancer rates are going amongst children yeah, just yeah. because of the school's proximity to the cell tower. Yeah. I have heard that. I have heard that. And I'm, I, like I say, I. It's not a good thing, and I'm sure there's going to be bio, biological entities, species, uh, members of the biological of our human species that are going to be more susceptible than others. It's not a great thing. Work where you can Don't work. Help. Get on a supplement yeah. program. Start using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, your ultimate selenium. You know selenium is protective against radiation. Oh, ultimate selenium. Okay. Yeah, there's lots okay. of things you can well, do. Unlike your microwave, it's a much shorter wavelength, so it penetrates easier. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate it, Bob. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products. Truthtreatments.com for all, all our truth skin health formulations. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.